Welcome back to GVTV. Today is Monday, February 6, 2023. My name is Tate. And my name is Mariah. Before we start, we would like to congratulate the 21 athletes who signed letters of intent last Wednesday. And even bigger congrats to Lauren Betts and Naomi Clark, who each won Sportswomen of Colorado Awards. Here's what's happening in the Wolf Den this week. This week is National Counseling Week. Make sure to thank your counselors. It is also Black History Month. Black History Month honors the achievements of African Americans and recognizes the roles they have played in U.S. history. This includes art, music, and literature. We're starting our first feature with a new series, Get to Know Grandview's Admin. Here's Victor and Aaliyah to further elaborate. Thank you, Tate. We see them walking in the halls and sometimes when we get in trouble, but how well do we actually know our deans? We sat down with Dean Davis to find out a little more about him and his job. I started here at Grandview in 05 as a uh, um, academic support. I went to, um, I got my uh, master's in secondary counseling. And so I got a grant uh, counselor position at Overland High School. So I went to Overland and um, the grant ran out. So our principal, Mr. Lundy, um, made me a dean. So, and I've been a dean ever since. It's fun. Um, it's definitely different challenges other than, uh, rather than Overland. Overland, uh, just a different dynamic as far as uh, socioeconomics, um, demographics. Um, so it's a lot different, different problems. But uh, every school has its issues. Um, Grandview, is, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. I have a good time here. And um, I love the kids. I love dealing with the kids. It's a lot more than discipline to me. It's um, it's teaching the kids how to, it's teaching students how to uh, play the game and also um, uh, make good decisions. But when adversity comes, to get right back up and brush yourself off. So yeah. More importantly, I listen. I advise, and sometimes I don't say anything. I just I'm just a good I'm an ear and a shoulder to a shoulder to kind of lean on, and um and to support them in their journey through Grandview High School. We also wanted to hear what you thought of Dean Davis. Uh, I think he's a good dean. You know, looks out for me. Looks out for the students in the building. He supports you and like what you do, and he's like a real person. Like he doesn't. He, he tells you like. If, if you're trash, you're trash. If you're good, you're good. He's cool, he's funny, and he's chill. He understands where colored people come from because he's colored. He cool, he chill. He like he like a, a uncle, an old uncle that works at a school full of kids. That's literally what he is. You know, <laughs> just an all-around good-looking dude. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? Did you get that? Yep. Okay, I'm just, I just want to put that out there. Thanks, guys, for further introducing us to the administrators, and stay tuned for the next episode of Get to Know Grandview's Admin. Now let's move to sports. On Wednesday, boys and girls varsity basketball plays at Smoky Hill. The girls play at 5.30. And the boys play at 7 p.m. Be sure to wish them luck. On Friday, girls swim and dive has its state meet at the Veterans Memorial Aquatic Center at 5 p.m. Be sure to wish them luck as well. Last but not least, boys and girls varsity have a tournament on Saturday. Stay tuned for the time and place. Now for the play of the week. Here we go. On your way to inbound. Looking. Finds the seat inside. Kitty gets it. Oh my god, that could not have been better. Last one second, winning point, and against Cherry Creek. Great job, guys. That's pretty much it for this week's announcements, and we'll catch you next week on GVTV. We are one pack. Go Wolves!